What's up? Welcome to my react channel. According to YouTube analytics, only 40% of you guys are subscribed. If you would like Chompy to eat this month, I suggest you do so. Thank you. Speedrunning website- Wait, is this about Dream? Speedrunning has changed. Back when I began this hobby, the most notoriety you could ever hope to achieve was having your name printed in the high score section of a magazine. Of course, no one else would care, but it was Eat. cool nonetheless. Mm. The YouTuber Dream has the biggest following in speedrunning history, and on the 12th of December, one of his Minecraft speedruns was removed from the leaderboards under the assumption that it was achieved while cheating. More specifically, he was accused of modifying his game to give himself increased luck. No. Dream, for his part, completely denies these allegations, Thank assuring you, his fan base he is innocent. Yes. Many people are confused about who to believe. Understandably so, as the crux of the original argument stemmed from complex mathematics and unimaginable numbers like 1 in 7.5 trillion. In this video, I want to do three things. Summarize the evidence of both sides, explain how and why something like this might happen, and provide my thoughts on whether or not Dream is guilty based on my own research. I hope you enjoy. Now before we go on, if you look behind me, you'll notice I have some epic new posters, and they come courtesy of this video sponsor, Displate. No! Displate! No! This plate did me dirty, dude. Please. No. Look, I would. Nope, nope, nope. I would watch any. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Now, ah, shit. Now, just like an asshole. Display. Now, before we get into it, some of you will be asking who is Dream? He's Carl Jacobs. You currently have 15 million. Right around here, chat, is where he started to talk to me. Right here is where he asked to be my friend. And right about here is when I answered him. Subscribers. Dream did not find success on YouTube through speedrunning, but instead created popular videos that were either funny or covering interesting topics. On the 23rd of June, something very important- Look, I'm just gonna say this though, I did play Dream, I did verse him in a uh, PvP match, and I won. ...and happened. Java Edition 1.16 was released. On the Minecraft speedrun leaderboards, oh, you. you will notice that the leaderboards are split into three sets. Dowski is a god, man. An absolute god. If you guys don't know who Dowski is, he comes from SM64 and he's just been grinding this all day. And now Dowski is number three in the world. Isn't that crazy? He just took up Minecraft about a couple months ago. He's already number three in the world. Sections. Pre-1.9. Oh, he also was one of the best World of Warcraft. I think it was a warlock. He's one of the best warlocks in the world at one point. He is a god. He is what a god gamer really is. 1.9 to 1.15 and 1.16 plus. In order for an end portal to be active, each of the 12 surrounding blocks need to be filled in with an item called Eye of Ender. Eyes of Ender can only be obtained so far, through crafting. Video is accurate. And in order to craft an Eye of Ender, you need two items, an Ender Pearl and Blaze Powder. So without being bogged down in these specifics like food management and the collection of tools, etc., the aim of a speedrun is to acquire ender pearls and blaze powder, craft eyes of ender, find an end portal which is located in a stronghold, enter the end, and defeat the ender dragon. Yep. This is why 1.16 was oh, so yeah. game changing. As collecting ender pearls through barters with piglins is much faster than the previous strategies. There is a catch though. When you give gold to a piglin, the odds of them giving you ender pearls is only 4.7%. These odds aren't great, but ultimately many runs ended right here because the piglins refused to cooperate. My if you do get lucky, that. Minecraft was already heavily dependent on luck factors, and this new mechanic just made things much worse. Players would spend days- I wouldn't say it's worse to be honest with you. I really do think that the uh, Minecraft Luck and randomizer in this actually makes it a lot of fun to speedrun. And many players voiced their dissatisfaction about how much RNG the new runs needed. I like Including it. Dream, who lamented about his lack of luck. But thankfully, Dream's luck was about to change. Several months later in October, Dream would stream his attempts at speedrunning 1.16. Instead of trading pearls at a rate of 4.7%, piglins were trading pearls at a rate of 15%, mm. three times higher. Minecravenger tweeted out his fine. Not too much to get in trouble and, and noticed, but you know what I mean? It's just like a little bit. That's all I want is a little bit, 15%. Endings, which slowly but surely began to stir doubt among players and moderators alike. If the data was true, this was extremely concerning, as consistently getting trades at this higher rate is so improbable that there could only be one explanation. 
tampering with the game. The Minecraft speedrunning moderators immediately began their investigation. When the data surrounding the drop rate for That's Blaze right. Rods was collected, it showed that Dream collected 211 rods out of 305 Blaze kills. This totals just shy of 70%. Nice. Given that the standard drop rate for Blaze Rods is 50%, the probability of having this many drops is 1 in 113 billion. It just so happened that the very two items you needed to collect in order to reach the end were dropped at almost impossible rates. When combined, the probability of this happening is 1 in 20 sextillion. This number is so large, or small, however you want to look at it, that it is totally and utterly incomprehensible. The moderation team proceeded to spend two months investigating and confirming these probabilities. On the 12th- I think they're just jealous. I think they're just jealous of him. Dream, it, look, he was killing it. He blew up. He got all these subscribers. All the kids were running home every single day to go watch him on their iPad. And I think these guys were just jealous that Dream took over. And thus, they made it seem like he actually forged his shit when he really didn't. He's a good guy. Of December, the moderation team released a paper outlining their calculations and conclusion. This figure was the probability that anyone in the Minecraft speedrunning community would ever get luck in any variable that was comparable to Dream's. Mm. The actual probability of Dream getting this luck in the specific way he did was far, far lower. In conjunction with the release of their paper, the Minecraft moderators also removed Dream's speedrun from the leaderboard. Dream uploaded a response video, accompanied by a report written by an anonymous third party Dream had hired to review the moderator's findings. In the video, Dream claimed that the he moderators were paid some kid on his Discord. Like, what is this wrong, shit? And that the actual odds were much lower. So the question is, after trillions and trillions of simulations, do we see the type of luck that Dream experienced? Here it comes! The answer is no. Oh. In fact, it's not even close. <laughs> there are many different simulations being run by many different people, and not a single one has come anywhere near the types of rates that Dream experienced. For all intents and purposes, it is impossible to replicate what happened. In order to understand how slight increases in probability affect the mean? investment required when grinding for a time, I will use an example for something that I did myself. The most famous world record I ever achieved was a time of 52 seconds on Damn Agent in GoldenEye 007. Oh shit! Hundreds of people have 53 seconds, but I am the only one with 52. But that's not because I'm the best player. In fact, there are quite a few players out there that would be capable of achieving 52 seconds. The reason I have the time and no one else does is pace. because I'm the only person that has put in enough time to get the required luck you need. Instead of playing for 250 hours- Dude, this guy's just stroking his own ego at this point. Get to the video. Hours. Let's assume for a moment that Dream did increase the Ender Pearl barter rates. How much time did he ultimately save? Well, given that there are multiple barters per run, the increased odds compound very quickly. On average- In my honest opinion, the reason why I think Dream cheated is because I think he has like a very high like threshold or, or, or maybe like a, a thing that he thinks about for himself. You know what I mean? And I think all these millions of people constantly coming to him, a lot of them assuming he's like one of the best in the world. I think the stress and pressures just got to him to the point where he didn't feel like his, it was like in, in check with his ego that where he was at. Because I think everyone saw him as like this godlike figure in Minecraft and he wasn't that godlike figure. So in order to become that godlike figure again, he cheated. I mean, I think you're a moron or a stan at this point if you don't believe that Dream cheated. The sure amount of stupidity that people have who think that he didn't cheat is just, they're literally children. You have to be a child to not believe that he cheated. He cheated, straight up. Average, in order to get the same bar to luck as Dream, you would need to play between 300 to 900 hours. And this is before even considering the increased drop rates for Blaze Rods. While many people don't enjoy the lottery True. aspect, almost every other element is fantastic. Video games are fun to play, and not everyone is going to be an esports pro. Speedrunning gives us a way to compete in a casual and fun way. The luck element is likely the worst part, and many people who still enjoy speedrunning just don't want to deal with it. Now, it is time to nah. finally find out. Did Dream actually cheat? I have spent the last few weeks engrossed in this entire scandal. I have read the reports, conversed with experts, listened to the interviews, read the Reddit posts, 
and many people were sending me pieces of the information post, that's because I they knew I was from. going to make a video. The Enderpearl barter rates and Blaze Rod drop rates in Dream Streams are for all intents and purposes mathematically impossible. Dream and his anonymous expert may beg to differ, but unfortunately, their conclusions do not match with the trillions and trillions of simulations that have already been performed. He cheated the then. math that the moderators put forth does match with the simulations, however, making them more credible. Afterwards, Dream was intentionally deceptive, stating that the run was only a 16th place time, when in fact it was 4th place when submitted. But mm. even this is deceptive. Up until the very end, Ooh. Dream's run was world record pace, entering the end portal room ahead of the world record at the time. The only reason the run ended up slower was because there weren't enough Eyes of Ender already placed in the end portal. That same misleading tweet also falsely claimed that the investigation was about whether the run had too good luck. But the run itself did not directly impact the conclusion of the investigation. The investigation was surrounding his entire six streams, totaling 24 hours of play. This misleading statement caused many of his fans to have the incorrect assertion about what happened. This deception- I- I- dude, the dream stands are the fucking best, man. They're so fucking stupid. Why won't they investigate the people who beat Minecraft in 14 minutes while everyone else beat it in 13? Three minutes or higher. Why would Dream cheat for 16 plays? I don't Leading get it! Also, why would Dream cheat for 16th place? That sounds extremely stupid to risk reputation for 16th place. Statement caused many of his fans to have the incorrect assertion about what happened. This deception can't be an accident. The best part of all this is, chat, like, it doesn't matter in the slightest because Dream stands have just don't care. They're oblivious. They just don't care. They see him as this god, and god can do no wrong. And so it doesn't matter that he cheated in, like, the game that he, he literally has grown from and made and, like... It's just crazy. It doesn't matter to him in the slightest because in their world, he is still dream and he is still perfect. And what's behind that mask? That's all I really care about. Given all of the available facts, I believe the only reasonable conclusion is that Dream was playing on a version of Minecraft that had been altered in order to give himself an unfair advantage. The how and why are I something that likely can never be answered definitively unless Dream decides to share that himself. I am mainly invested in the speedrunning community itself, and it seems to be fairly unanimous in the conclusion that Dream cheated. At the end of the day, the RNG manipulation was spotted, and the run was invalidated. It was. The public nature of the event will also likely Watch dissuade people from trying to do the same in the future. What I will say is that if anyone is attacked for believing Dream cheated, this is likely due to malevolence. The evidence is so overwhelmingly stacked in a single direction that you cannot and should not blame anyone for coming to the only rational conclusion. Conversely, if someone wants to believe Dream is innocent, that is their right, and they also shouldn't be attacked. Conversation about this yeah, topic don't is attack great. Chat, After please. all, it's an extremely interesting story, but arguments over this particular issue don't seem to be worth the cost. As a Dude, he has such a massive audience, and the fact that none of them care because they're just, like, so dumb, like, it, it really just comes down to ignorance, and I guess that's the fact they're children, but it, it just, it is funny how little they understand. Like, they were just, I, I remember when it happened, I wasn't streaming, and just watching these little children, you know, sneak their phones under their desk and type out on their Twitters, like, oh, but Dream didn't cheat it, like, I swear, he's, they wouldn't do that, why would he do that? It was just so funny to see that while everyone else clearly has analytical data showing that he did cheat and they're like trying to protect their daddy even though like he did cheat own up to it you know what I mean